Hey friends, David here. We've been teasing the shadow and mist that are about to sweep over the rift for some time now. And finally, finally, we get to lift the veil of fog and tell you about patch 5.1. A major change this year for Wild Drift is us doubling down on the rich lore of League of Legends. We hope to immerse you into the world of Runeterra from day one. And taking center stage this time around will be the mysterious Shadow Isles. We'll dive deeper into the happenings of Rune Nation, who its major players were, and explore some untold stories. Unlike our past patches, where each story was more of a one-shot, this time we expect each event to build from one to the next. And outside of events and stories, you will also explore new gameplay changes, and decked out in misty themes, and soak up amazing Shadow Isles content. So to help shed some light through this shadowy fog, we invited Paul to tell us more about Wildrift Patch 5.1 Beyond Rune Nation. Thanks, David. I'm Paul, Director of Creative Game Production for League Studio. I want to tell you a bit more about how we incorporated the League of Legends Ruination story into this upcoming patch. The Ruination is a pivotal moment in the history of Runeterra and explains the origins of many beloved League of Legends champions. We've been working on many different ways to merge our rich lore into the game, and over the next couple of weeks, we will learn about the mysterious Blessed Isles and the thrilling, tragic, and potential fates of many champions during the Ruination Saga. The patch will follow three acts, each triggered by the release of a new champion. Starting us off is the once proud and noble Camivoran general, Callista, now known as the Spear of Vengeance. But how did she get there? What role did she play in the downfall of the Blessed Isles, and could she have changed its fate? Well, that's for you all to discover as Callista joins the Rift. Leading the second charge is Viego, the Ruined King. Our brooding and brutal monarch is ready to extend his reign onto the Rift. Find success on the battlefield using Viego's powers of the Black Mist to close in on enemies and possess those who dare to cross your path. And maybe, by the end of the event, you will come to understand our heartbroken ruler better. Ringing in the final act of the patch is the twisted treant, Maokai. Maokai's background has always proven somewhat of a mystery to most, and we want to use the final phase of the patch to add some color to our treant's quest towards restoring the Blessed Isles. But our new champs aren't the only ones haunting the rift. Step onto the Waldorf app, and you will embark on the same journey that Kalista is on during her quest. We have restyled the in-app atmosphere system to transfer you right onto the Daggerhawk sailing towards the Blessed Isles. And this theme, well, it follows through even in-game, where the mist of the Shadow Isles will be creeping through the lanes. Now, this is also more than just ambiance, as the shadows have impacted the game itself. During this patch, items will be categorized into Radiant and Shadow. Radiant items will focus on protection or utility, such as Horizon Focus while shadow items will be riskier to play, but they might have a bigger payoff, just like Infinity Edge. These item changes will affect all game modes, so pop into the shop during your next map and make your choice. For more detailed info, please tune in into our patch notes. Summoner's Rift isn't the only place where we have dialed up the mist. For Act 1, we are introducing a new wave defense game mode, Final Stand. Your first foray into the mode will be alongside Callista, where you'll be fighting for her life in a recreation of one of her most infamous battles. So the game modes, they'll help you to learn more about Commander Callista from the battlefield. But we wanted to use this patch to show you that she is so much more than just a great warrior. Across the three acts, you will collect and unlock stories in different visual formats let you learn even more about her backstory and see her from a fresh lens. Log on to the events across the patch and earn your story bits. And once you unlock them, they will be stored in your library forever to be rewatched at your leisure. There are more new and exciting things headed your way. And to get a rundown of the gameplay updates, let's hand it to our product lead, John. Thanks, David. Oh, hey friends, John here. Our favorite gunslinger, Miss Fortune, will be getting a new passive that makes it easier for her to double tap her enemies. Her passive will now post stacks on her targets while she's dealing damage. And collected stacks will deal bonus damage with Miss Fortune's abilities and basic attacks. And for barrel laners who like to show off, 
we can extend the Raven's ultimate upon killing an enemy, make that kill really worth it. Plus, we are making Rutera's greatest weapons master even more lethal. Jack's ultimate will now deal AoE damage immediately and gain armor and magic resistance based on the number of enemies hit. And lastly, Master E is always looking to sharpen his mind and his body. To assist him, we are creating Meditate to allow E to combine the ability with attacks, so he can strike, meditate, and strike again. The barrel lane can be lonely and treacherous, so we've decided to offer you a friend for the journey. The alcove will now come with a magic circle where you can summon an Ixto Moss Tomper to help you in whatever your endeavors might be. They will also deal extra damage to turrets. We can't wait to see the strategies you come up with for you and your best friend. As always, a new patch also brings in new seasons for Ranked and Wild Pass. Ranked Season 13 will start mid-April with a snazzy bronze skin as a reward. The new Wild Pass will set your hunger for more food spirits with fizz and make your battles even harder with Infernal Shade. This patch is all about the Shadow Isles with plenty of events, pulling you even deeper into the lore of Callista and Viego. But like always, there will be plenty of events surrounding other happenings, such as Pride. Like every year, we want to celebrate every shade of the Wild Rift community. Let them shine with us for Pride 2024. To finish off this magically messy patch on the high, let's take a look at all our new skins. Train your penmanship, refine your art skill, or duke it out in the Tournament of Souls, wherever your talents take you. Well, that's it for patch 5.1 Beyond Ruination. We can't wait for y'all to experience this new era of thematic patches for Wild Rift, and we look forward to hearing your feedback. As the patch moves forward, please look to our patch notes for more details. Thank you so much for supporting Wild Rift. Please share your high scores on Final Stand. And as always, see you on the Rift. <laughs>